good morning children today we shall look at some properties of division the very first property of division is any number divided by itself is equal to 1 for example if you take the number 9 any number you take you divide it by itself that is by the same number your answer will be 1 isn't it what does it mean 9 divided by 9 9 ones are 9 minus 0 so your answer is 1 that means the quotient is 1 in the same way even if you take a very big number 158 divided by 158 your answer will always be 1 you do not have to do any type of working no working required no division required just simply 2 36418 divided by 2,36,418 will also be equal to 1. We are not dividing it by the long division or any division. This is a rule that any number, if it is divided by itself, will be equal to 1. Now, where do we use this property? We use this property in finding out missing numbers. For example, I ask you to fill in the missing number. Seven hundred and eighty-five divided by a number is equal to one. Now we know the property that if a number is divided only by itself, then you will get the answer one. So the missing number over here will be seven hundred and eighty-five. In the same way, twelve thousand three hundred and sixty-four divided by Twelve thousand three hundred and sixty-four. What will be the missing number? One. Same way, your missing number divided by one lakh forty-seven thousand two hundred and thirty-five is equal to one. Now we have some number which, if we divide by one lakh forty-seven thousand two hundred and thirty-five, that gives you the answer as one. That means what? It has to be the same number one lakh forty seven thousand two hundred and thirty five. So this way you can find out the missing numbers wherever you have one. Now the second property is any number. Your second property says any number divided by one. Now we are going to divide by one. Will be equal to the number itself. Okay. Now you take any number. Let me put this division sign properly. You take any number. You take the number eight divided by one. What will you get? The same answer. The number itself eight. How? Again, eight divided by one. One eights are Eight minus zero. No need to do the long division. Straight away apply your second property. Then two thousand seven hundred and forty-one divided by one will be equal to two thousand seven hundred and forty-one. And the same concept we are going to use to find out missing numbers, however big the number is. Now let's take. Fifty-nine thousand seven hundred and two divided by some number to give you the answer fifty-nine thousand seven hundred and two. Now you have a missing number over here. Now what will be that number which, if you divide fifty-nine thousand seven hundred and two, will give you the same answer? It will be one. Got it? Again. One more example: three lakh sixty-five thousand four hundred and eighteen divided by again three lakh sixty-five thousand four hundred and eighteen. Again, big numbers I have taken this time to show you how soever big the number is, if it is exactly the same number being divided by the same number. The answer will always be one. One more example: 
you have a missing number over here. That number is being divided by 1 to give you the answer 75,000. So what is this missing number? If you divide by 1, you get 75,000. So it has to be 75,000 only. So this is the way children we are going to use these two properties of division. Just two properties of division. Any number divided by itself is equal to 1. And the second property says any number divided by 1 is equal to the number itself. So this is what we are going to do today. And we will stop over here today children. Have a good day.